Okay, so Lennar. A lot of you guys have been watching some of the videos that we've been putting up about the Lennar homes here in Ocala and surrounding areas, Ocala Metro, whatever. Um, and you're like, well, where are those located? They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They are popping up everywhere. It is so hard. It is so hard to keep up. Like, I can't even, like, it is crazy how many neighborhoods are planned and are being created from Lennar right now. It was just, we had absolutely no Lennar homes and now they're everywhere. Okay, they're on every side of town. Um, I would say they are probably the fastest growing uh, company here, you know, builder here in Ocala. Um, they just kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, they, they purchased a lot of the construction and um, development that Armstrong Homes was doing. And now Armstrong, they're just kind of doing something else. And now Lennar is everywhere. Okay, everywhere. So let's go through a few of the places. And we're going to show you um, a little bit of the information that we have about them. And hopefully that helps you if you're looking at a Lennar home. We would love to help you with that. Um, but to say like where it is and how much it is and what comes in it, it just depends on the community. So it's really hard to say, oh, this is what they've got. Uh, that's just not the case. It really just depends on which community you go to as far as the amenities that are available. So we're gonna talk about a few of the places so you guys know when we're putting up videos, basically what they are, where they're at or whatever. Um, so some of the things that vary by community, they do like to have, you know, houses, um, but some of them are doing townhomes, uh, which in Ocala is, we don't have that many townhouses actually. Uh, we, we tend to spread out, not up. So this is actually, something fairly new to us. We do have some townhomes, but really not that many, not that many at all. So we are doing, uh, Lennar is doing uh, townhomes right now. They're actively building them, um, but they, in their houses, they also have smart home technology with a ring doorbell, um, alarm and security system. Um, some of their communities are uh, gated, some are not, most are gated. Uh, they do have granite and or quartz countertops. Um, they can do either a tile or stone backsplash, um, wood or ceramic tile floors. Uh, I didn't see anything about carpeting there. I'm kind of anti-carpet in case you didn't know that. Um, some people are like, oh, when I get up, I really, I, I don't want to feel that car, that cold, hard floor, card, <laughs> cold, hard floor, um, get an area rug. <laughs> <laughs> um, because we have so much sand and so many, you know, just if up north, everybody had socks and boots and you take off your boots and you probably had two layers of socks and it was just very, you know, clean and sanitary and whatever. Everybody stayed in the mud room with all their stuff. And so it was pretty clean to be walking around somebody's house here. We wear flip flops like all the time, all the time. So you go over to somebody's house, you're going to be barefoot if you take off your flip flops. So it's either you're wearing flip flops into somebody's house or you're barefoot in somebody's house. Carpet gets nasty really quickly. Uh, I like being able to mop the floors. Like, let me have some bleach, man. <laughs> bleach. So yeah, we, I, yeah, no. I mean, if I have area rugs and stuff like that, great. But I actually, I like rugs that I can throw in the washing machine. So they have to be a size that I can, you know, fold them up and throw them into our washer. So, all right, sorry, I went off on a tangent there. I apologize, back to this. Uh, so yeah, wood, ceramic tile floor. They do have energy efficient appliances, but honestly, everybody has energy efficient appliances at this point. So one of the places that they have going in is Bell Chase. They're building in Bell Chase, which of course has a lot of different um, builders that have been building over the years. Uh, but they actually have a welcome home center. It's at 400 Southeast 44th Road. And that's in uh, 34480 if you're wanting to put it into your GPS. Um, and they are normally there from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So in case you're wondering, it's uh, Bell Chase is kind of a, a little bit more expensive. It's more upscale uh, homes. They're single family homes. You're not going to see townhomes over there. Uh, it is a gated community. And it's really close to like, you know, Paddock Mall, um, all the stuff down, I'd say downtown Ocala. It's not right downtown Ocala, but it's really not that far. So it's south of Ocala, 
the city of Ocala. Anyway, uh, but yeah, it's it it's really really beautiful. Um, they have a 14 acre community park there. I mean, it's just a it's a beautiful community, absolutely beautiful community. And Lennar Homes, they're building over a hundred homes in there, and the prices start at about 415 thousand. So, I mean, it's, you know, for an upscale community, that's not that bad. So, I didn't think. All right. But again, that is a, um, it's a development that's been there for quite a while. Um, so, I know for several years. Now, there's another one. Oak Hammock Preserved Townhomes. This is, like I said, they were mentioning they were bringing in some townhomes and here they come. Uh, so, this is a community of low-maintenance townhomes located in the charming countryside of Ocala, Florida. Their wording, not mine. Um, it is basically really close to Publix. It's close to A-rated public schools. Um, none, of, I don't think any of these are 55 plus, but I'll check. All right. This one, the Welcome Home Center is at, um, Southeast 31st Street. Again, it's 34480. Um, the home sites, it's coming soon. It's still in the planning phases. It's, um, you know, they're getting permits and stuff like that, but this is not a, done deal thing yet. We don't have pricing or anything like that on that one yet. But from what I understand, it's going to be several hundred homes. So we'll see. Uh, what else? Freedom Crossing is preserved. Now this is the one that you guys have probably seen on our videos because it was one of the first ones that we were like, whoa, Lennar is coming to Ocala? What in the world? Now it's a thriving community. But when we first started, it was like, they had to build the roads. I mean, there was nothing there. It was cow pasture. And now all of a sudden it's these houses. <laughs> so thank you for your patience as, you know, we've gotten video and stuff as it's developed. Um, this one is Southwest Ocala. If you go to Southwest 58th Circle, so it's 34476. It's kind of over. If you go over to the Liberty uh, Library, excuse me, not Liberty, Liberty Middle School and Freedom Library. There we go. Uh, so kind of in between that, um, but right across from Freedom Library, that's where it's located. There's actually a Publix coming in on the other corner. So just a heads up on that one. But yeah, this one is a little bit less expensive. These are single family homes. They start around 300,000, 315,000, um, and they go up to 400,000. Um, but this one is, let's see, it's a master plan community of spacious homes for sale. Uh, the community features close proximity to great shopping and dining at Paddock Mall. Okay, realistically, it's about 15 to 20 minutes to Paddock Mall because that's really close to where I work and I live just down the street. So I'm going to say about 15 minutes because um, it was a little bit closer, but it's not like it's just down the street. It's 15 minutes. Uh, but they do have, I mean, like I said, Publix is opening right across the street. So they do have that. They have the library right there. We've got an elementary school and a middle school. Um, it's zoned for Westport High School. Um, I mean, it's, you know, it is, it's very nice over there and there's a lot of things coming in because of public. So there's going to be even more shopping and um, things there soon, like within the next few months, honestly. So that one's kind of cool. And that's the one that we've really been showing a lot because like I said, that was the first one and that's probably the most progressed. Um, I'd say they probably have a good 50 houses that are either completed or nearing completion. So, and it's a lot bigger than that. So, uh, then we've got Liberty Village. This is one that started just after Freedom Crossings and it just seems like it is just I mean, I think they've just built the houses so much faster than the other ones. It's just crazy. Like it was absolutely nothing. And then poof, there's like 50 houses. <laughs> it's like, whoo, I don't know what happened, but it's, it's there. So, um, this one has the Enclave and the Meadows. Uh, this one's located at Southwest 74th Loop, 34476. Um, and this one actually is a 55 plus. It's really close to Kalesa. It's close to... Um, what else is over there? Kalesa and, you know, the Fast Aquatic Center. Um, it's really near, uh, Westport High School on top of the world. So there's a lot of 55 plus amenities right in that neighborhood. Um, uh, this one starts at under 300,000. Um, and these are single family homes, just in case you're, you're wondering. This is also a master plan community. 
but like I said, this is for 55 and over only. So yeah. Okay. The other one, College Park townhomes. Again, we're getting more of those townhouses. Um, this one, the Welcome Center is located at Southwest 34 34th Avenue Circle. And this is Ocala, Florida 34474. So this actually is near the Paddock Mall. Uh, this is actually really near the um, the Paddock Mall. College Park is literally a park around um, CF, um, Central Florida College, uh, which is almost directly across from the Paddock Mall. So where everything is going on just off of 200, that's where this is located. So yeah, definitely within the city limits of Ocala, whereas some of these other ones that I was talking about are outside of the city limits. So yeah, uh, this community has a very low HOA and it is maintenance free. Um, I don't know what the prices yet are because again, the um, townhomes have not been started yet. So they don't have that information available to us yet. Um, and I don't even know that they have the Welcome Home Center completed yet. Uh, this one is in Northeast Ocala. Okay. Are you getting the picture? They're on every corner of this county. <laughs> They're everywhere. Uh, this is called Millwood. Uh, this is the Enclave and the Meadows. This is Northeast 35th Street, 34479. Um, it's got two different communities and it's got a different price range. I don't know what the price range is yet. Um, this is going to be a lot of houses in the two connecting communities. So um, we're talking like hundreds of houses, um, but we don't have pricing on them yet because we're still at the planning stage and, you know, get streets. We're not at the pour the concrete and actually have a house kind of thing. Okay, now this one is in Silver Spring Shores and this is Whisper Woods. Uh, this is over the Welcome Home Center is going to be at uh, Bahia Road. Bahia is B-A-H-I-A. -A. Some call it Bahia. Some call it Bahia. Bahia. I mean, I've uh, none of us know how to pronounce this road, okay, is basically what I'm saying. Anyway, Bahia Road, <laughs> it's 34472 for pretty much anything in Silver Spring Shores. Did I say Silver Spring Shores or the Shores? We all call it the Shores. Um, but Whisper Woods is a community of new townhomes, uh, located in Southeast Ocala, offering great value and low HOA fees and no CCD fees, which begs the question, which of the other ones are doing CCD fees? Pretty much all of them, pretty much all of them. So I don't know what those are. I don't even know what the prices are yet. So don't bombard me with questions. I'm literally giving you what I have. <laughs> This one, and I mean, you're more than welcome to check all of this stuff out. Uh, but this is, again, coming soon, coming soon. So we're seeing all of these developments come. We're seeing some of the houses already being built, and they are getting built very quickly. But we don't have all the facts yet. We're sharing it as we get it. So we are going to be going down and um, chatting with them a little bit more and, you know, getting more information from them. But keep in mind, Lennar is very, very new to our area. We had absolutely nothing with Lennar. And now that we have multiple, you know, um, uh, developments, like all at once. So, and again, there's no information to share really just kind of, okay, here's what the plan is, but we don't know what the actual detailed cost is yet. So we're working on it anyway, but Whisper Woods again, townhomes. So, um, it's going to be interesting to see all of these townhomes. I've counted at least three different projects that have townhomes in them. So yeah, kind of interesting there. Um, <laughs> this one says it's near Tuscawilla Art Park. And I'm like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you seem a little confused. <laughs> uh, okay, and then this one is Heath Preserve. This one, again, is a collection of the Enclave and the Meadows. This is Northwest 44th Avenue or 34482. Um, but yeah, Heath Preserve is a master plan community with collections of new single family homes coming soon to Ocala, Florida. This one, we do actually have um, an idea of the price. This is $269,000 up to $340,000. Uh, 
um, and it's got about 116 home sites. So we're talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of houses that Lennar is actually bringing into Ocala within the next couple of years, really. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, now this one is trying to say that it's near downtown Ocala. At this point, I don't even know. It's... <laughs> It's Northwest, okay? So it's Northwest, 44th Avenue, 34482. That to me is not downtown Ocala, but whatever. Um, Yeah, this, yeah, they're talking about the lakes and stuff we have here. That's not really telling me it much, but that's probably because they don't know much yet. They don't know much yet. Um, These are all things I've gotten from uh Lennar itself whatever they've chosen to share so far we have sold a few homes already over in the southwest um home sites because again they are the first ones that hit our market and they're the first ones um that really had houses available to sell uh the rest of them they're still working on permitting they're still you know working on the plans and and what exactly is going to be the cost we can't bring a buyer to them if they don't even know what the price is yet. Uh, we did that with Kalesa. It wasn't fun. So we don't want to do that. Uh, we definitely want to make sure that we have all of the information that we can give to you so you can make a sound decision as to which builder or which development is right for you. So as we get the information and as we, you know, find out more, we'll definitely share that. But this is what we've got so far. And uh, we should have some more visits to the homes and the communities coming soon. So looking forward to sharing that with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And let me know if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can reach us at ger.expectmore at gmail.com. Thanks. Bye.